Hello, my name is Dr. Maya Mikhailovich. I'm a PhD coach. In this video, I'll talk about how to find funded postdoc positions in STEM. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Math. First, I will talk about my personal experience. That is, how did I find my two postdocs in science? And uh, then I will give you a few tips how can you find your postdoc. Let's first talk about my personal experience. I have a PhD in chemical engineering and uh, for my PhD I worked in uh, computational polymer physics. Towards the end of my PhD I realized that I would really like to get uh, experience in fields such as computational biochemistry or computational biophysics or computational chemistry. Also, uh, at that time I was living in uh, New York City and uh, I, I wanted to stay in that area, not to move to another city or another uh, state. So, keeping these two goals in my mind, I decided to look uh, for the groups in the area that were working in the fields that I was interested in. On their websites, I uh, looked at the projects that they, they were working on and uh, also I looked uh, uh, which techniques they, they were using and so on. So if I was interested in the group, I would uh, put it uh, on the list. That is how I came up with a list of uh, groups that I would like to, to work with. My next step was to contact PIs and to ask them about possible positions. I emailed PIs from the list and I told them that uh, I was about to finish my uh, PhD soon and that I was looking for a postdoc. I told them about my previous experience, why would I like to change my field, and uh, which project I would like to work on, which technique I would like to, to uh, learn and in their lab, and so on. I got invited for a couple of uh, in-person interviews, and uh, um, after that I selected uh, uh, a postdoc position at uh, City College of uh, New York. That was how I found my first postdoc. Now I have uh, one tip for you. When you are emailing uh, PIs or when you are sending your cover letter, you should never send generic emails or generic cover letters. That's a huge no-no and it will not get you anywhere. So you have to tailor your email or your cover letter for each position that you are applying. Show them that you know what they are doing, which projects you would be interested in, what, what uh, uh, methods you are interested in, what, uh, uh, what techniques you are interested in. Those are the th things that show them your interest in their lab. That you are not just looking for any postdoc. You want to, to get a postdoc in their lab. I worked as a postdoctoral researcher at the CCNY for uh, several years. Then I moved from the United States back to Europe. Next two years I was teaching, but I didn't do uh, any research. I really missed my research, so I decided to apply for another postdoc, this time at the University of Zurich in Switzerland. I got this uh, second postdoctoral position also by emailing a PI directly and asking uh, for a postdoc in his lab. So, since I didn't live in uh, Switzerland at that time, I had a Skype interview first and then I was uh, invited to come to the University of Zurich for an on-site interview. Then I got uh, an offer and that's how I got my second postdoc. One way to find the uh, funded postdoctoral position in STEM is to uh, contact PIs directly. Send them email, meet them on conferences or so on. The other way is to, is to apply to uh, advertise postdoctoral projects. You can find these projects on university websites. You can find them uh, on a job or career site. Then you can find them uh, on a uh, websites specializing in uh, academic jobs or uh, uh, in uh, journals like Science, Nature and so on. You can also look uh, at uh, uh, general job websites and they, they usually have a postdoctoral position there uh, as well. 
one of my favorite source of uh, uh, advertised postdoctoral projects uh, is Twitter. If you are on Twitter, you can follow professors, you can follow groups, you can follow universities, and uh, they often advertise their open PhD and postdoctoral position. If you wish, you can also follow me, since uh, I uh, usually retweet tweets uh, uh, about uh, a PhD and postdoctoral position in STEM. So that's it for this time. If you like me to make more uh, videos like this, please comment, like, or hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel.